I'm Roselle with Contractors Liability, and we're going to jump right into the three main types of insurance you'll need as a roofing contractor in Laredo. Number one, general liability. Now, this is the most basic type of insurance that you will need as a roofer. General liability protects your business against third party property damage and bodily injury. And it can also cover lawyer's fees in the event that your business gets sued. The most common coverage levels are $1 million in occurrence with a $2 million aggregate. We strongly suggest against going through anything lower. Your general liability also has certain exclusions that you need to look out for. And let's go over the four main types of exclusions on a general liability policy for roofers. Open roofing exclusion. Now this is one of the most common exclusion that causes claims to be denied. This excludes coverage when the roof is open or when the trusses are exposed. Heating processes or heating tools. This excludes coverage for heating process such as torch down roofing. Properties over three stories. As you can imagine, the higher the project is, the more risk it pertains. That is why this exclusion exists. And the last type of exclusion, property types. This excludes coverage for work on properties such as schools, churches, hospitals, and properties over 20,000 square feet. If you do any of these four things that I mentioned, make sure to speak to your agent and have them endorse your policy to include coverage. Number two, workers' compensation. If you have employees or use uninsured subcontractors, then you will need to get workers' compensation insurance. Now, the state of Texas does not require you to have this type of coverage, but if you do have employees, it's an important one to have. If you don't have any employees or only use insured subcontractors, then you can get a special type of policy known as a ghost policy or an if any policy. Just make sure you keep on file certificates of insurance for all your insured subcontractors. Number three, commercial auto. So if you're using your vehicle to carry tools and equipments to your job sites, then you will need to have a commercial auto policy. Your personal policy usually excludes business use. Commercial auto does not cost much more than your personal insurance. However, it provides much higher coverage levels. Now, these are the three main types of insurance that you will need as a roofer. However, it's important to mention that every business is different and you might need other insurance policies to make sure that you're completely covered. If you have any questions or would like to get a free quote, simply give me a call at the number on your screen. We have over 20 years of experience in working with roofers and we know what type of insurance you need. So give us a call and get insured today.